Welcome to another tutorial of the online web and mobile editions of SimLab Stages product. Now that you've had an overview, let's explore this setup of projects and stages. I'm logged in and I see all of my projects. Here at the bottom on the left side is where you can add a new project by clicking on the plus icon at the bottom of the page. We'll name our new project Test Project. Great wisdom, I know. We can give it a description, upload an image for the project page now or later. Then we click confirm to save our test project. Now, if we go back to our projects page, we have a new project named, believe it or not, test. <laughs> click on our new project to open it. Click the stages list icon and you will see our project is empty. We need to create our first stage. Click the plus icon at the bottom of the stage list. We will name our first stage in infinite wisdom, stage one. Let's select March 1st as that was the date of that scan. Click confirm to save the stage. For this tutorial, we'll need at least two stages in order to demonstrate how we align, synchronize, and view the stages on the timeline. Now I can click on a stage in the list of stages and see it is empty. Time to add our components. In our current version of our web and mobile solution, we are able to load only Matterport 360 showcase scans as components. You can retrieve the link of the scan you want to use from your Matterport Spaces account. Give the component any name you wish and paste the link in the Matterport link space. Press confirm as before to save your work of this stage. Now you can see that there is a component in the stage, but it is marked as not synced. If you click the three buttons next to the not synced indication, you're available to rename or delete the component from here. Pro tip, if you do not have a Matterport scanner, you can easily download the Matterport capture app for both Android and iPhone. This does a great job for smaller facilities, larger jobs, there are Matterport service providers available on the Matterport website. Surely you could find one near you. Okay, so now you can see in our new project, we have two stages, each having a component. In the next tutorial, we will align or synchronize stage components.